Hello, what is up guys? Today we're doing a video on how to set up and use uh, shaders in Minecraft using MultiMC, Fabric, Sodium and Iris. Now I'd recommend using these mods nowadays, uh, especially with modern versions of Minecraft because uh, Optifine, while it's good, um, it has its limitations and it just doesn't have uh, as good performance as these uh, newer, modern, lighter mods. So using Sodium and Iris can get you better performance, which is always what you want when you're using shaders because shaders can be quite heavy sometimes. Uh, they also give you a lot of customization as well, which is nice. So, getting right into it, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to open our web browser and we're going to go to multimc.org. This is the Minecraft launcher we're going to be using because it just gives us a lot of options and makes it nice and easy for us. Um, it's open source, fully free. You can just go to download and we'll choose your operating system. I'm going to choose Windows and you want to extract it somewhere. I'm going to quickly just extract it to my desktop to make it easy. And that's cool. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to install a uh, an update new version of uh, Java. Uh, new versions of Minecraft um, all require sort of qu quite quite new versions of Java. So uh, I would recommend going and grabbing Java 17, uh, which is the latest uh, LTS version at the time of making this video. By the time that you watch it, there might be newer versions out. I know that Java 18 is uh, coming out, uh, and there might be even newer versions than that. So just install a new modern version of Java, preferably above Java 16. If you're on uh, Windows, I recommend using the Microsoft OpenJDK builds. I'll have this linked in the description. You can hit download and then you can choose your build here. So you can get OpenJDK 17 for Java 17. Download the Windows uh, x64 MSI installer. Just grab that, download it and install it. Obviously, if you're on Mac OS, you can grab these or Linux, you can grab this. Uh, if you don't want to use the Microsoft builds, I'd recommend using the Adoptium ones. Uh, these are the ones which are made by Eclipse. Uh, so you've got all the same options here as well, except they, they call it Temurin 17, which but it's still a OpenJDK Java build. So you want to grab one of these, uh, install them, uh, just make sure it's a modern version like OpenJDK 17, and that'll all be good. So then uh, we want to open up uh, the MultiMC folder and open up MultiMC. It'll ask us to choose the language. This is fine. Uh, then it wants us to select our version of Java. So I'm going to choose the 17 one here. This is the uh, the Microsoft OpenJDK build, Java 17. You can see I've also got the uh, Adoption one as well installed, just in case I need that. So you want to choose this. Uh, then you want to choose the amount of memory which Minecraft can use. I'm just going to give it uh, up to four gigabytes of RAM and one gigabyte minimum, just because that's uh, like to give Minecraft like quite a bit of RAM to use. Uh, obviously, tailor this to your system specifically. Uh, so you want to set this all up and then click Next. Uh, you can choose to enable analytics uh, if you want to. I'm just going to disable them for this video. And we've got MultiMC uh, ready to use. Next thing you want to do is we want to add a Minecraft account. Uh, so we want to go to here, the profiles, and then manage accounts. And you can either add a Microsoft or Mojang account. I'm going to quickly add my Mojang account. And then once you've got your account added, you can see I've got mine added here. We are ready to continue. So next, we want to click add instance. Uh, I'm just going to create a 1.18.1. .1. You can name this anything you like and you can choose your Minecraft version you want to use here. I'm going to use the latest 1.18.1 .1 as of this video, and we've got uh, Minecraft ready. So next, uh, I'd recommend just opening the game once just so it can download all the, all the correct files. So I'll just let that run. And then once it's done, Minecraft will load up and it will just be vanilla, like you've just installed the game for the first time. All right, so once it's open, you can just hit quit, and then we're back to MultiMC. And the next thing we want to do is we're going to install the Fabric Mod Loader. So you want to right-click your instance and go to Edit Instance, go to uh, version, and this is all the, the jar files which you've got installed, and you've got various options here. All we want to do is just click install fabric and choose the latest fabric uh, mod loader version, which is 0.12.11, and hit OK. And you can see fabric loader has been installed. All right, so that's that done. So what we're going to do now is now we're going to go and grab the mods that we need. Uh, what we're going to do is we want to go to the loader mods down here, this tab, and we want to click view folder. And you can see it drops us into our Minecraft mods folder. And this is where we're going to put uh, all the mods that we need for uh, using shaders. Open up your web browser and head on over to the Fabric MC website. I'll have this link in the description. And we want to download the Fabric API. We'll click that there. Now it's take us over here. And we want to grab the latest version of the Fabric API for your version of Minecraft. So I'm using 1.18. So I'll download this and I'll wait for it to download. And we're going to save it. I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now so I can grab it easily later. 
Uh, and then we want to go and grab sodium. Uh, I have a link to the description. This is uh, the Caffeine MC. They make fantastic mods like sodium, lithium, and phosphor. They're all great uh, for improving the performance of vanilla Minecraft. Uh, we're only interested in sodium though, so we're gonna go to sodium fabric and go to releases. And once you download the latest release uh, for your version of Minecraft. So I'm downloading uh, this version for 1.18 as of the time of this video. And you want to just download the jar file. And I'll save that to the desktop as well. And then we're going to go and finally grab Iris from irisshaders.net. Again, link in the description. Uh, you want to hit download. I'm not going to use the uh, Iris installer. I'm going to use one of these ones. Uh, I'm just going to download it from CurseForge. That will do. And we're going to download this version for our version of the game. Save the file to the desktop just with all the other ones. And that will be good. So now we can minimize this. And we've got our mods folder here, which we opened before. And we just want to drag and drop and copy all of these mods into the mods folder. And you'll see back in MultiMC, we've got all of the mods uh, in the list there. So now all we need is our shaders we're going to use. And you can see handily in MultiMC, we've got a shader packs um, tab as well. So we can click on view folder and open up our shader packs folder. Go back into your web browser. I'm just going to go and grab uh, two of my favorite shaders. I'm going to go and grab uh, BSL, which is a fantastic shader pack. It looks really good. I'm just going to save them to my desktop. Okay, so on Sonic Heath's website, I'm going to go and grab the renewed shaders. I'm just going to scroll down and grab them from here. And accept this and download. And I'm just going to save them to the same place on the desktop. And we can minimize out of this. And now we can copy our shaders into our shader packs folder we opened before. And you'll see back in MultiMC, we've got the shaders in the list there. So now all we can do uh, is we can double click Minecraft to open it up. And then once Minecraft loaded, you will see we are using fabric and it says modded. And we shall open it up and let's start a quick new world. I'm just going to create a new world uh, that will do. And here we are in game. I need to turn my sensitivity down because that is really high. All right, that's much better. OK, and then we press escape, go to options, video settings. And here we've got all of the uh, all of the options you get with um, uh, sodium. So it's basically just like an improved version of the vanilla settings and you get performance improvements uh, on top of that as well. So you can you can configure all these settings to your liking. But obviously what we want is shader packs here and then we can just select our shader packs. So I'm going to choose the BSL ones. Hit done. Go back to game and you can see we have got the BSL shaders uh, running. You can see they look absolutely fantastic. There we go. Uh, if we want to change them, obviously, we can press escape, go to video settings, shader packs, and we can just switch them on the fly. And now we are using the Sonic Ether shaders. So you can see these, we've got a bit of motion blur, something a little different, and there we go. Yeah, that's how you install shaders and use them in modern versions of Minecraft. Uh, the performance is pretty good. I found at least on my computer with uh, my settings, uh, I get um, much better performance out of using Sodium and Iris than I do with uh, Optifine. But yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment if you have any thoughts. Uh, please be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this, ring the bell if you want to be notified. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.